Hey, what's up, folks? So today we are going to be programming the TID Radio H8, TDH8, and the TID Radio TDH3 as well. Um, we will be doing different modes of programming here today, so bear with me. Um, first off, we're going to open the OD Master app. So uh, if you don't have the app yet, download it. It looks like this, right there. It looks like that, and you get your login, and then you uh, you can uh, um, yeah create an account and stuff. So first, uh, we turn Bluetooth on. Uh, we're gonna do the H3 first. So we're gonna turn Bluetooth on. Uh, you hold this button in. You hold this button in, and then Bluetooth should turn on. Also, if you don't already have it in uh, in the mode you want uh, to switch the modes, uh, you can put it in ham, DMRS, or unlock mode. I'll show you how to get to that screen. Uh, you turn the radio off, and then you hold the PTT button in, and the star button. While you're holding them in, you turn the radio on. And then it'll go to the secret menu. And you can select which which mode you want the radio to be in. There's ham, DMRS, and normal modes that you can select from. I'm just going to hit exit because I don't want to uh, go into a different mode. Mine is on unlock mode right now. So uh, I just hit exit. And uh, now I have my Bluetooth turned on. And we're going to connect my Bluetooth to the radio on the app. So I'm going to hit connect Bluetooth right here. And TDH3 pops up right there. And I'm going to uh, hit turn the button on. And then it'll switch to this screen. And then you select model. TID radio. TDH3. Uh, because it's unlocked, I'm just going to hit TDH3. Now if I would select an other mode, I would have to select the other ones. And then I'm going to hit read. And the radio goes into Bluetooth program mode. Uh, as you can see there on the screen, the clear radio uh, is reading. And also on the screen you can see that there's some progress going on there. Alright, um, channel 1. We have already, I have already programmed to um, the airport, the local airport here. Um, yes, yeah, so, let me see. You can uh, go to radioreference.com, which we'll do right here. Alright, so we are at radioreference.com, so we click on radio reference, then we go to databases, R&R &R databases, and then browse, we'll hit browse right here, and we want to see which county, so let's say I'm in Center County, Pennsylvania, which that's where I'm at, so I'm going to click on Pennsylvania, and I'm going to click on my county, and right there, see? Right there's a whole list of stuff that I can listen to. <coughs> so, um, we're going to program the first one in, uh, fire dispatch, uh, 453.975. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm not able to copy that, but 453.975 is what I want to put input into the OD Master app. So we're gonna go back to the OD Master app. And right here, I want to put that in channel 1. So uh, right there, I'm going to do 453971. Four, and then, wait a minute, I'm 
and seven one. There we go. And then, so we don't want to transmit on that frequency because that's for the fire company. Um, I'm, I'm you know, we don't want to uh, interfere with them. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go online on the radioreference.com, and we're gonna find a frequency we can use that won't get us in trouble in case we in case we happen to hit the uh, PTT button so we're gonna go to nationwide frequencies we're gonna go down to miscellaneous other and we're gonna select family radio services and then if you look at that we're gonna put the first one Channel 1 on FRS, 462.5625. We're going to put that into TX frequency. 4622565. I think I got that correct. I'll just go double check. 5625. Uh-oh, folks. 5625. five six two five and uh, also because that is for family radio services and we can't transmit on uh, more than two watts we ha we're going to put that on low power that way the only reason we're putting the TX frequency in is so that if we accidentally hit the transmission the, the button on the side to transmit it will not transmit to the fire company uh, we don't want to be doing that because then the law might actually come after us uh, bandwidth we're gonna leave on wide busy lock uh, we're just gonna leave all that stuff off uh, scan we can add that on if you want that add that to your scan channels if you have like 199 channels in there you can scan them all and uh, that's to add that to the list to be scanned and right here we're gonna give it a name we're gonna say send and then fur so we can give it seven characters uh, spaces included um, so that's the name we gave it and now we're going to go and we're going to go in there and we're going to do the second channel. We don't have to save anything if we don't want, not yet. We don't have to save it. And we can, we can hit save right here if you want and then give it a, a name just in case you have to go do something or whatever. But uh we're going to go to channel 2 and we're going to program uh EMS in there. So we're gonna delete that and we wanna put in the ambulance dispatch for my county so we're gonna go back to Pennsylvania Central PA Center County and then we're going to get this one four six zero six one two five four six zero six one two five so we're gonna go back to OD master and then we're going to do 4606125. Let me go double check, make sure I got that right. 4606125. EMS dispatch. All right. And then again, we're going to uh, make sure we have the proper TX frequency in there. So we're just going to go. Uh, and look to see what we put in channel 1 for TX frequency. We put 4625625 and low. 4625625 low. Always use this when you're doing scan scanner channels. Always make sure for the TX frequency you have this frequency in there so you don't transmit to the scanner frequency accidentally. So 4 462.5625 is important to remember. 
four six two five six two five and uh, we're gonna put that on low power to stay within the FCC um, allowed ranges um, bandwidth wide you can leave all that stuff and I'm gonna give it a name first this time I'm gonna give it EMS this Right. So there I got that. I got two channels programmed in now. Now I want to let's say um I'm gonna save this. Um actually no, I'm gonna write it. I think I can write it. Yeah, I can. Absolutely can write it. I'm going to write that to the radio. <coughs> Excuse me. I hit confirm. All right. We're just going to back out of this. There's some stuff I want to... I'm not going to save that. Um, there's some stuff I got to look at here. Make sure... Uh, Everything's good with the radio. I'm just now seeing that I don't have the function up there uh, in the programming setting. I'll show you that later in the H8. Oh, there we go. I have the function right there. So, see, I uh, channel 1 is now programmed to send fire. And channel... and you see up here the uh, transmit frequency is on the walkie-talkie channel 1 on low power. And channel 2 is the same. Uh, that is for the ambulance dispatch, which uh, I have that written down right here. Um, and I have the walkie-talkie transmission and the transmission frequency for when you hit the PTT, it will not transmit to the ambulance because that's not something you want to do. Um, TX power is on low. Um, and then in function, right here is what I want to do now. So I want to, um, I'm just going to leave this alone, the FM. I don't want to do anything there. You can, like, add, uh, preset, uh, radio stations in there as well. Um, so right here I can turn my voice prompt off or on. I leave it on because I use my radios for videos. Uh, language, you can turn to Chinese or English. Um, okay. Uh, Roger, I'm going to turn Roger off. I'm not going to be transmitting, but that just adds a beep, transmits a beep, or like a doo doo, after you, if you hit the key, the transmission key. Um, here you can do the, uh, you can select these uh, these uh, keys on the side to um, either you know go to the radio or the weather or whatever. Um, alarm mode. Be sure to turn that on local. You don't want to be transmitting an alarm. TDR on if you want to do dual channel watch. Um, let's see. Sync is off. Channel display way. I'm gonna do name on both of them. Uh, that way, I, I because I gave my channel a name, uh, Senfer and EMS Dis. So I turn that, turn that to uh, name both of them. Basically, what that does is you can, uh, it, yeah, it like the top and bottom there. Um, the breath LED is you can change that to. 30 seconds to 5 seconds. It's a little light that blinks up here on top. Um, let me see what else. There's some other customizations you can make. Um, this is this is the most important part if you're using it as a scanner and you don't want to transmit accidentally onto the scanner frequencies. So, all right.
we're going to write this to the radio. If you watch the radio there, it uh, switches over to programming. And there you can see the progress. Alright, so, now we're going to confirm, alright, so, um, we're going to take this radio here, and we're going to put it in, right here, we're going to, uh, you can press the, for the H3, you can actually, uh, press the pound button to switch from top or bottom area. Um, and then we're going to go to channel 2 and channel 1, which there's channel 1. Yeah, see? We have channel 1 and 2 on. We can listen to them both. Um, I'm just going to turn it up a little bit and monitor it. But yeah, this, this is in unlock mode right now. That can also be done in GMRS mode. Um... You can't, uh, GMRS mode, you cannot put any other frequencies in other than GMRS transmit frequencies to transmit. You can receive on any other frequency, but not transmit on GMRS mode outside of the GMRS frequencies. Alright, so, um, that's it for that one. Um, I will be doing the TID Radio H8 as well, so uh, if you enjoy this video, if this was an informative video, uh, you can always hit subscribe or follow me and um, maybe uh, join my live streams and you can uh, learn how to uh, use these radios and also uh, be sure to check out my showcase uh, here on TikTok and um, also on X and you can uh, uh, find some products, these products as well, so, you have a good day, and, uh, stay safe, uh, stay prepared.